Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. My fingers became calloused and my mind became consumed with the sound of strings. What? Okay. Now, that was just one example. Let's go back and show you something even crazier. We're going to, let's see, I think we are going to go and we're going to go on to the canvas. Now, the canvas has a lot of stuff on here. You're saying to yourself, what in the world am I looking at, right? Well, we could take this whole outline right here and we can, can, cre we can create an entire story. So let's come up with a beginning, a middle, and an end to some type of science fiction. Something like, I don't know, let's do a little Lord of the Flies in space. A group of young orphans is being transported from one planet to another planet when their spaceship crashes on a jungle moon and all the adults are killed. There are over a hundred children and they have to figure out how to survive in a hostile alien environment. Luckily, they can eat the food and plants. Unluckily, they are near the bottom of the food chain. Eventually, they are rescued, but not before a few of them die due to the environment and a few die due to murder. Now that I have that entire story, I just literally came up with that right in the moment. Now that I have that entire story, let's see what it generates for its story. Uh, no, we're not gonna give it a protagonist. We're going to just, no protagonist, we're going to, ah, we're going to just make it happen. Here we go. And generate full outline. Let's see what happens. This is obviously going to be edited out. <laughs> Luckily, I have artificial intelligence to do that. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is an entire story built with an entire outline of the hero's journey. It's going to figure out who the person is, all of that stuff. I'm not even going to read it. You can see that it just generated all of this information. And I could take all of this information and put it into a document and create a complete journey within that document. That's just within the canvas. Now, I could do other things like create, uh, take pictures and things like that and start making large very large, <laughs> you know, representations of who these people are. I can take generated text from pseudo, pseudo right, or I can take it from chat GPT, which I also subscribe to in order to create this. And I'm going to show you in at least, at least one video in the future, I'm going to show you how you can play the two things off of each other and maybe even a little bit of Claude too. Claude is another, is a, he's a large language model that has a little bit of a better grasp of prose and stuff like that. Does a little bit more what you want it to do, and it's built off of a much smaller set of data. So it has a potential of being something that could ride around in your pocket at some point. I think that these sorts of language models are going to change how we live and pseudo right this is ju i just showed you a a very small very small sampling of what pseudo right can do now imagine what what you can do if you want to create a story that you already have an a thick idea for all right here's the best part this is called story engine i'm going to let's see can i zoom can i zoom out 
Oh, there we go. Zoom out. And we'll go back to project. As you can see right here, that's the canvas. And uh, actually, that's the canvas right here. Now, this is Story Engine. I, I don't know what to tell you. Story Engine is a whole new 